Hello everybody. Today we're going to learn about repeating patterns. For our learning today, you could have a piece of paper and a pencil ready. Pause the video now and get those things. Can you work out the next shape in the pattern? Let's have a go. Purple rectangle, blue circle, purple rectangle, blue circle, purple rectangle. What will the next shape be? Pause the video and have a go. Yes, it was a blue circle. Did you spot that too? Let's have another go. Blue triangle, red triangle, yellow square. Blue triangle, red triangle, yellow square. What will the next shape be? Pause the video and have a go at drawing it. Yes, it was a blue triangle. Let's try another one. Blue triangle, yellow rectangle, green rectangle, blue triangle, yellow rectangle, green rectangle, blue triangle. What will the next shape be? Pause the video and draw the next part of the pattern. That's right, it was a yellow rectangle. Oh, what is the name of this shape? Can you remember from last week? Yes, that's right, it's a hexagon. So, yellow hexagon, yellow rectangle, purple rectangle, yellow hexagon, yellow rectangle, purple rectangle, yellow hexagon. What will the next shape be? Pause the video and draw your answer. That's right. It is a yellow rectangle. Let's try another one. Blue circle, red square, blue circle, yellow square, blue circle. What will the next shape be? Will it be a circle, a red square, or a yellow square. Pause the video and draw your answer. This one was a little bit more challenging. It is a red square that goes next in this pattern. Now we're going to continue the pattern on your piece of paper. How far can you go? Remember, when you look at the pattern, say the shapes and the colours. Mm -hmm. 
what's going to go next. Can you draw the next shapes in this pattern across your page? Pause the video to have a go. The next shape was a triangle and after that it would be a red circle. We're going to now look at number patterns. What will the next number be? Let's read the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, to work out what goes next, we have to think how many is being added on each time. To get from one to two, we only add on one. We're counting in ones. Pause the video and have a go at writing the next number. So each time we were adding one. So the answer is seven. Well done if you got that correct. Let's try another one. What will the next number be? Remember what we have to do. Let's read it out. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Now we need to think, are we counting in ones? To get from two, if we add one, we only get to three. Let's try counting two on. To get from two, if we add two more, we will say three, four. If we start at number four and add two, we will say five, six. We're counting in twos, adding two each time. Pause the video and write down your answer. Did you get it right? Let's try another number pattern. What will the next number be? Remember what you need to do. Read the numbers and think about what the number pattern is. Let's do it together. 90, 80, 70, 60. Ooh, what's happening here? It's not counting on. We are not getting higher. So that means we are counting back. But how much are we counting back each time? To get from 90 to 80, how many have we counted back? Pause the video and see if you can work this one out. So that's right. Each time we were taking away 10. 90 take away 10 equals 80. 80 take away 10 equals 70. 70 take away 10 equals 60. 60 take away 10 equals Pause the video and write your answer. That's right. The answer is 50. 
We can also say 60 count back 10 equals 50. Can you carry on this pattern? Keep going and see if you land on zero. Pause the video and have a go. Now that you have practiced some shape patterns and number patterns, you can now try your home challenges from your learning pack. I hope you have fun. Bye bye.